Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, we thought we'd show you the whole board team together in one place for once, because normally you just see one of us at once, or just the voice behind the camera. Um, so I'm Deborah. I'm Deborah too. I'm Sarah. And today we wanted to talk to you about some of the silver fragments within the hoard and to show you um, how many pieces there are that are having to be dealt with and at the moment what we are doing um, to work with the objects, which is upgrading their packaging. Uh, and also we thought we might show you um, what some of these fragments might be, because initially we thought it all might be part of a helmet. But obviously there are other objects that, that these fragments could fit onto. We've got the silver fragments out because we just wanted to show you um, and give you an idea of how many pieces there are in the hoard, and they're quite a lot. And it ranges from, at the moment, one small piece in a bag to uh, bags that contain many fragments in there. So at present, what the team is doing um, is giving each piece a very brief condition report, but then also upgrading the packing. This is what we mean by upgrading the packaging, really, and it's um, finding a solution that is uh, both safe for the objects and visible for whoever will have to study these objects, because this division is still preliminary, is not definite, so uh, one day somebody uh, our research panel will have to really look at these foils, at the pattern and decoration, and try to group them. Uh, but so far, this packaging allows us to transport and view these pieces quite safely. So what are these foils? What were they used for? Fortunately, we've got a number of experts helping us in that interpretation. One of them is Dave Roper, a replica maker, who um, reproduced this decoration on copper foil. This is actually the decoration from one of the Saturn Who helmet uh, panels. But what were they used for? Uh, there's various interpretation and there might be a variety of use, uses for them. Uh, one of them uh, might be around the rim of a drinking horn or a vessel. There's a better picture of a vessel over there. And as you can see, you've got stamped foil around the brim. And it could even have been applied to vessels as small as these ones. Um, once again, this is the reconstruction of an Anglo-Saxon helmet, probably the same period of the hoard. And uh, it shows quite clearly the use of these patterned stamped foils, um, in this case these are silver. Using the Sutton Who uh, reference material that we have here in the studio, we can give it a further interpretation. It might have come from a shield boss, such as this one. This picture shows a number of fragments that have been reassembled into uh, a coherent Pattern. And this is what we want to achieve at the end of our conservation. Try to piece all these fragments together to make a sensible pattern. Let's put one of the small fragments under the microscope here so we can see the pattern more clearly. And it looks like the top of a, um, a crested helmet. Um, you can probably see that a little bit more clearly on the, on the large monitor there. Um. And that's quite interesting. It's part of this job of, of looking and trying to reconstruct. Because here on this printout, this fragment here in the middle actually has a crested helmet on it as well. So this piece could feasibly be part of the same panel or certainly the same pattern. Um, and we wanted to show you this as well because we've had this section uh, scanned by National Museums Liverpool and they've produced... Um, many versions of it for us, but we, we quite like this blue version because we feel it helps to highlight the images. You can really see the crested helmet, the face, the eye, um, and the shape of the edges. And one of the ideas that's been um, thought about at the moment and discussed is whether we can digitally scan all of these loose fragments and maybe use the digitized image digitised images to help us bring the panels together. See, this is quite a big challenge for us and will take many years. Uh, but lucky for us, we've got a team of researchers 
and partnerships with the British Museum conservation teams. So we'll have a lot of support and hopefully we'll have some fragments and objects to show at the end of the work. <laughs>